Hey guys, welcome back to the Off Grid Tiny House. So, I have uh, a Chinesium beginner crossbow, compound bow. Not a crossbow, compound bow. <laughs> and I have to make my way through the shitty ching chang chong chong chang chong instructions and figure out how to do this. So, mostly through pictures because, um, yeah, but we're getting there. So, anyways. Uh, I'm just gonna go by the pictures here how to assemble this bad boy because well let's face it I'm no chink all right so okay so there's an arrowhead there that needs uh, looks like which guy would that be Hmm, it's this guy. So this will be the optical sight. And we'll use the Allen keys to assemble that. And, oh, there's instructions on this guy as well. That helps. They're in ching, 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 ching language, though. But yeah, there's the nuts and the screws, and I have to install that. So we'll put these bad boys over here. Thankfully, I didn't pay a whole lot, so we'll see if this actually functions. So it says here, guys, I got to put the optical scope near this arrow pointing up uh, in the frame of the crossbow. So um, in order to do that, oh, there's a level and everything on here. Very neat. Then there's your kill zone. Level, kill zone. Cool. Um, I got it raging hot in the tiny house right now. This morning, I should say. So, yeah. That'll be fun. Okay, so it says two, two screws, and uh, we got to use the Allen wrenches. And figure out which size that is in order to put that on. Oh, wasn't that going to be fun? Put them all here, and we'll do a one by one comparison. Oh, right on the first one. It's like I know what I'm doing. Oh, man. Good eye. Good eye. Okay. So it doesn't go here, it actually goes here. Um. Good to know. Okay. Very bizarre. But we'll figure it out. How about that? Got to get it started. And then get the next one going. This will be my first um, piece of weaponry, I guess you could say, at the off-grid tiny house. And uh, the times we're in, guys, uh, looking like we might need this down the road. So better to have it now, even if it's a crappy chinese uh, piece of work, as long as you can do a little bit of hunting. Um, I guess it will pay for itself. Hmm. Should go in a little bit smoother than that, but apparently not. Here we go. Didn't cross red it, so that's a good thing. Just a little tight because it's new construction. Okay. So the optical sight is in place. There she be. Um, what else does it say on here? So, oh, there's a little adjustment screw for that in Chinesium. 
so I can't read that, but uh, I'm assuming, oh, what is this, a light? Or what the hell is that? Must be a light of some kind. Not sure how that would go on. Oh, it goes here. It is a light. Huh. Oh, sweet, guys. Check that out. Probably can't see it. It's lit up. I put my hand behind it. Yes. That is cool as shit. You just adjust that. Turns that on. Holy shit. Crazy. I like it. Um, so that's that. Um, I'm sure uh, more adjustments will come as I need it uh, via here. So you guys see there's an adjustment screw. You can move your markings to set where you're going to be. Whoops. Knocking the camera over. <laughs> and go from there. So anyways, uh, on to the next wonderful piece. I'm going to keep these instructions though, even though I can't read them. So that's that. Getting rid of some plastic. Can't burn that. So, uh, optics are on. Next we have Whisker Biscuit. Arrow uh, Rest. Faster, quieter, little, and no fletch damage. Wonderful. So let's go ahead and do that. parts. Put that Allen key back. So we have two pieces and a giant bolt and more plastic to get rid of. Okay. Now I believe it's getting quite warm in here so I might have to punch a, punch a door or a window open. Actually let's just pop this window open because at the tiny house. <laughs> Everything's just wonderful. Okay, so in this picture, guys, since I can't read chink, chink word, um, we're gonna, it's the arrow rest, so obviously it's gonna have to go eh. Okay, so that what direction is that at? The front or the back? Hmm. Okay, so it's on an angle and you gotta put this piece in first. Um, I believe it goes this way. We'll find out. And it's a giant uh, Allen key on this one. Or pretty large. There we go. Um, except I may have put the set. No, that's how it's supposed to go. Sket set screws on the bottom, though. Don't like that. To set this down and hold it. Tighten the shit out of that. Perfect. Sorry about the bad camera angles, guys, but that's what we're dealing with. And then this bad boy has to go, I believe, like so. But I have to open up the Allen key to do so, I believe. We'll find out. You're gonna have to work on that. I don't know how many pounds this bow is, but 
That'll be fun pulling that back. Yeah. As I toast in the tiny house. Let me open this door. It's that crazy hot in here right now. I got the stove damped completely off. But, uh, yeah. Oh, it's snowing. I better uh, open a window instead. <laughs> It is windy too. Oh, there's snow coming in. I'll close that just so there's a tad of air coming through here. There we go. Much better. Sorry about that, guys. So, um, while cooking out, uh, <laughs> um, let me grab the main, where's the big instruction booklet? Well, I guess that's it. Uh, go to the first page, because it shows a complete uh, set. Okay. Uh, so I have it backwards, it looks like. I have my scope backwards as well. From what I can see. So this guy needs to be the opposite side and this guy's got to be this way. Thank you China Instructions. There's no English. What a joke. So I got to fix that. I got that in there. Oh and we can, good, we can adjust how much throw on this compound bow so I can actually pull it. Excellent. And they sell all kinds of other crap. Um, of course. So, I will go ahead and uh, work on that. And then this guy is uh, wrist band aid. So that is an added bonus. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So, you strap your wrist on that bad boy. You got your little release clip and that'll be an assistant for you and then they have a little strap here for something I'm assuming not the bow but the kit we'll find out sometime sometime in the near future so I'm gonna readjust everything uh, came with one two three four five arrows with the screw tip heads for practice and sounds good you could probably hurt somebody with these but they're blunt they're pretty sharp on the tip so so yeah um it'll be my first practice bow it's like a throwaway until you get your skills built up basically um that's the purpose of this uh and we'll see how long it lasts guys basically if i uh you know We'll, see, we'll have to practice this spring. Um, see how that's going to go. So stay tuned. I'm going to change that stuff over in a bit. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.